Chamber of Digital Commerce founder and CEO, Pierre-Anne Boring. Pierre-Anne, I mean, uh, just ex the, the, the excitement obviously is palpable, right, for these spot Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, all of the S1s have been filed. Feels like BlackRock is, is really pushing the issue with respect to these uh, lower fees. What does it mean? What does it mean, though, for folks watching the show, particularly those who aren't familiar with Bitcoin? What's so important to understand about Bitcoin is that this is open source money. Satoshi Nakamoto gave this technology away as a gift to the world. It's peer-to-peer -peer money. It allows us to send money without the need for a financial intermediary. Here in the United States, we it's so easy to take for granted the ability to have financial sovereignty because we live in the most prosperous nation in the world and most of us have access to financial services, but so many people around the world don't. And when you need that financial sovereignty uh, is, is when you fully understand how important it is to have a technology like Bitcoin. Right. This is also inflation-proof money. So for people inflation who have... Inflation proof money. That's a hell of a statement to make. I don't have a lot of time and I'm sorry about this, uh, but I want to uh, kind of uh, what you just said uh, about the freedom that Bitcoin brings. Everyone, I think, is taking their eyes off the central bank digital currency, right? The SEC and all these folks are asking for comments. Can, can it coexist with Bitcoin? Because, listen, I believe ultimately that the, the, the folks who create fiat currency just they can't allow Bitcoin and other current co uh, cryptocurrencies to supersede them. Bitcoin is already coexisting with CBDCs. There are CBDCs like China's that, that are already live today. Bitcoin has coexisted with fiat money and it's- So can people, can people in China use Bitcoin? Can people in China use Bitcoin to make purchases? Bitcoin is not accepted in, in China. There are countries That's that have point. taken different That's approaches my point, where it's outlawed. Do you think ultimately yeah. the U.S. government is going to say, okay, no one's using our dollars anymore. We're okay with everyone using Bitcoin? Well, here in the United States, Bitcoin is protected as as free speech. Code is protected as free speech. This has gone all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, this okay. would be fought, and it, and we would win that battle if 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 that you know ever became uh, the, the 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 choice of action. Well, I got to tell you something. You make me feel a lot better every time you're on the show because uh, listen, I just I, I I know it sounds nefarious, but it's just hard because the promise that you laid out of Bitcoin and crypto is so amazing, and I think people agree. And it's just hard for me to believe governments won't push back. By the way, congratulations. You have played a major role in all of this, Perianne.